Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day it may be for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Layback Gamer, and we're back with another video. I'm not sure what it is, but it is bound to be, hopefully, a very exciting one. So yeah, we're back. And, well, you read the title, so you know exactly what we we're going to be doing. So, if you like the video, leave a like. Maybe even consider subscribing if you really like the video. Ooh, that'd be very nice if you did. And, well, yeah. So sit, so go on, grab some food and our beverage. Maybe not one that's that fancy. Sit back and enjoy the show. I'm just gonna wait for nightfall. There we go. Well, I guess we could see what the campfire uh, bonus entails. Showcase what that's off at max level. So it gives you a, a food comfort and a rest and comfort. So I think your food is less likely to uh, to go down. And you have some regeneration. And in addition, for a, for some time, you also have a couple hearts of absorption. I don't know if that lasts while you're in range of a camp. Nope, uh, doesn't have to. So it'll last. For a little bit, so that means we've uh, we have the ability to take a little bit of extra hits. Which is a nice little bonus there. Oh, I did see that. Did notice that this is done. So let me uh, grab some log piles. Oh, I may as well just keep these things in our inventory. We're gonna be probably using them enough. Fire, that down to there. Oh shoot. Hold on a second. Is it possible to can I uh because I know this block has to be completely sealed in. No, it has to be from up top, okay. Alright, good lesson to know. Unless I have it drain. Huh. I gotta stop doing that. I think when we set up the refractory, hold on, I gotta, I gotta sneeze. Pardon me, sorry about that. But when we uh, craft a refractory version, I think I'm going to. Uh, also include a uh, include a spigot where we can drain the fluid to and go from there yeah I like that idea okay let's see here and bump that down Group, nice. Uh, I need to start. I need to craft some fences. How much fence up there? Okay, that's fine. Put that in for now. Let's see here. Put that there. Put that up. Grab that. Put that there. Light that fire. Tear through that, my goodness. Alright, let's see here. Let's put that there. There we go. Nice. Alright, that should be, uh, I think, enough for our fence. Or at least our uh, two enclosures. I did see sheep and cow up there. Nice amount there. We'll have a. Oof. I do want to eventually flatten this land up. I want to change it from basalt though over to. Uh, uh, well, actually, to be honest, this uh, Novaclite. A little bit of fancy walkway around here. I 
like to terraform it to that. So yeah, this basalt is going to end up going. I think I have a little bit of that in my chest that I could help fill this up with. Ah, oh, well. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's put the fifth one right there. There we go. Fence cake can go there. This is fine. We'll do this. Relocate that fence to there. Relocate this to here. Perfect. And shift click to place everything on there. Make sure the place is nice and well lit. Again, this is only temporary until we can get some we'll eventually make some better accommodations no we are actually a, nah well it's fine there so let's see one two one two and let us go ahead and there we go there's my singular piece of wheat yet this wheat with this wheat we will be able to lure in cows and sheep and start having an actual uh an actual food source coming in instead of just relying on falling apples and if there's chickens over here well then we'll take the chickens too i mean why not all right let's see here uh, if I do want to, uh, yeah, I'm, I am going to want to only take the, uh, the non duck Well, uh, I suppose we can take the, uh, the black sheep too. It's just in case I want to decide to dye them. I don't think I can dye, uh, dyed ones unless, uh, unless one of the mods, uh, unless Corp changes that. Alright, come on, my friends. Your new life awaits inside, well, I guess, a, somewhat of a solitary confinement for you. I am going to have to get them some uh, grass to munch off of, which is kind of annoying. But we don't necessarily need their wool just yet, so we can uh, delay on that for just a, a little while. I think I'll take it right down. No, no, come back here. You there, come back. Yes, yes, come back here. You want to eat this wheat. You need to eat it. And just following me to their uh, inevitable, their, their unrealized dooms. Keep coming. Keep coming, my friends. Soon we will make tasty mutton out of you. I'll take it into the smaller pen since uh, I'm gonna primarily. A, it's a bit easier to than uh, grass the to put a, a lot of grass into this one, and B. Poof! Oh, oh dear! I thought you were through. Go in. No. Sorry about that. Had to be done. I lost a couple of water sources just doing that. 
Unfortunately, we have infinite. Uh, yeah, we'll hold off on getting the cows until the next morn. Oh. Uh, let's see here. Go. Another eight. Oh, I also have the sides to worry about here. But I won't start uh, doing the sides until I lay out the, uh, found it, the, uh, spots down there where my AP, where the docks is going to fully extend to. And actually, the more I think about it, I am going to have to shave that little hump there. Oh. I also have to take a, quite a bit off from there. I think I'm only going to take that down possibly four blocks. Yeah, I think I'll take it down five blocks total. Here. That'll probably do pretty well in the rain. Yeah, we'll take that we'll take all this down to at least four, maybe five, eight blocks, kind of depending. And let's see. Oh, uh switch it today. Yeah, so we uh we've got this chunk here to remove. I'm gonna have to remove this chunk here and make sure it cuts nice and wide to try to, you know, blend it into the coastline to make it so that, yeah, this has always been there. I also got the, uh, the natives to worry about. Those guys, uh, I don't necessarily want to tango with. Not without, uh, some really good diamond gear, because they do hit hard. That. Oops. Sorry if you could hear that. My finger slipped on the key. There we go. Perfect. Put a stick of torch there. Now this whole place is nice and secluded. Covered in light. I shouldn't say secluded. Sorry, that's the wrong term. Oh. Of course. Music decides now to cut out. All right. Let's, uh, how's the diamond saw doing? Oh, look at that. Barely even scratched. I think we can even enchant them, too. Enchant the blades and the cogs to make it so that they, uh, don't break. Getting some obsidian ones would be very nice, too. Alright, I saw a couple, yeah, there are a couple of cows over here. Let's get these two into the pen, and then I will won't feel bad about killing the rest of them in this area. We can look keep a lookout for some chickens. Uh, I'd have to get pretty lucky with a zombie kill in order to find some carrots. Uh, oh, I never did place those beetroots. Yeah, so I think we're going to need obsidian tools in order to mine out cobalt, so that's something that we'll uh, get to eventually. And then Mithril can come after that. And then we have that ultimate armor stuff that we can grab afterwards. So, we, uh, we got a lot. I got a lot to do on this world. Like, like I said, we're going to be taking this entire mountain and transforming it into a legendary build. And we're basically, I'm basically going to keep playing on this world until we corrupt. Like, yeah, I might take some breaks between in between seasons, but aside from that, uh, I should hopefully be, you know, providing a steady stream. And the reason why I would take breaks between, uh, between seasons is because, oh, jeez, I lost a cow. Uh, you know, just to keep it fresh. Whenever I come back, it's like, okay, yeah, this is a nice, refreshing experience. Play it for a season, and then that way it'll also allow us to summon some uh, s micro series, I guess, for uh, some smaller games. Maybe we play a couple of fan made games, who knows? In between each season. I'm not going to do that for between season one and two since I've already kind of taken a pretty big break. But that being said. Don't, uh, don't trample my gardens. That being said, I think that's kind of a, a, a format I'm going to go with for now, off of for now. Uh, let's see here, and switch over to 
that, and you guys are now trapped in here. Excellent. Alright, and speaking of trapped, there you go. There we go. Parrots the bats. Alrighty. Now I would... Now, before we get started on uh, quickly building up some some supports for the for the docks, I kind of oh, actually, there is mossy cobblestone underground that I could theoretically go pick up. Uh, I don't think I'm going to though. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to. Uh, there's not a whole lot. We can, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I would like to check over here to see if we have any any chickens or any pigs. Keep you know, just keep it as a future note. I'm not gonna go. Right, I'm not. I'm also not gonna go around and kill everything I see here. That would just be cruel. But if there are chickens around here, I am going to attempt to bring that back them back home with us. That chicken down there? No. I think now that I, I, yeah, I didn't, I never actually checked this house out. Ever since we, uh, there is a pig over there. Songbird. Yeah, there are pigs, so if we ever find some carrots, I'll happily, uh... It's nice to see, oh, you, you had saved a little bit of heat. You're a Fletcher. Oh, cool, what are you? You are a cartographer? Oh. Let's see, so we'll take the rotten flesh with us, and I'll take the gunpowder, and I'll take the bucket. I'm not gonna take any of this other stuff because a I don't really have a use for it, and b I don't really know what I can use it for, which I guess kind of contradicts the first point. No deal. Uh, another strange tuber. Ah, I remember those days. Which also reminds me, at the end of the season, we are actually going to be due for a brand new skin. Which is pretty, pretty cool to, to design one of those. Little, little freak plants over there. I'll put another one down there. We'll eventually be uh, trying to... What is that down the... Is that tar? Or what is that? Okay, that is tar. About to go... Oh, she's not another one of the uh, abyssal crafts. Oh, there's melons here. I could actually use those. No foliates around? Nope. over there. Wait, there's cocoa beans. I just noticed. And jungle trees. Ooh. Nice. I completely went around this uh, melon here. Alright, so it looks like on our world here, our best bet is to go north, northwest and, sorry, no, northeast and east. Because I don't want to go into the swamps there, because well, it's uh, abyssal craft swamps. And yeah, I just don't want to go into the abyssal craft swamps. Alright, so no chickens, but there are pigs around here. Which means we'll have to go out and find some chickens to lure in. Or we get lucky and hope that, uh, hope that we get a couple of chicken jockeys. I'll actually do that. Throw this dirt clump into the water. Right, there we go. And let's see, how many do I need to spit out? How many seeds do I need to spit before I... So, let's see, I, need it, I think I need at least half of that stack. Plus two. 
sweet. Okay, that's done. There's our first melons. Now, remind me again, what can I do with melons? Should actually be, all right, yeah, so we can make glistening melons, we can make melon, we can make melon juice, can compost it, we can actually use it to make some essence as well. Well, actually a lot of essence. A couple of essences, speed and uh, healing. And then with a glistening melon, we can uh, make po insta health potions. But yeah, food source all taken care of. Now have a very reliable food source. Why is this like that? That shouldn't be. Go. So we don't have any. Uh... Oh, none of those guys transform into demons. I won't ever see it coming. Uh, let's see here. All right, so let's start by queuing up one of the get one of those. Also grabbing the achievement for it. Putting some stuff away. Oh, there's the beetroot. All right, I need to plant that. There we go. Beetroots. Now we just need to find carrots and potatoes, and we're golden. Speaking of golden, does this still need any more moisture? Alright, there we go. Haven't used that in a while. We'll eventually get to put some use into it. Alright, let's see here. I need... I don't have a whole lot of cobblestone, do I? I don't necessarily need cobblestone. I think I'll use some of this. And a bit of cobblestone afterwards. Yeah, we could do that. Just because we don't have a whole lot at the moment. We'll grab a bunch more, though, quickly. I do, after all, have a few, uh, a few piers to make. I guess branches of our docks. Stack should do. I really should have brought. I really wish I had a bucket of lava on me. You know, kind kind of warm up. Oh, hold on a second. That's right. Put those on. See if that's going to do anything. They're supposed to be uh, for warming us up, but I don't know if they're really going to do that. Okay, let's put the bucket up into here, and drink up. Toss that to here. Let's see, so I want at least three. I guess that little chunk there could be considered as well. Uh, sorry, yeah, I want th three tongues or two? There's one going to be one at the very end there, so we know this one. It's already going to be here, so let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There we go. So this is the first support here support the underside of the dock. Probably will uh, make some stone sta some stairs to go up this way later on. I want it to go out uh, by four, I think. Five? I want to go five? Yeah, we could go five. So, let's see, if that's one, two, three, four, so that's one there, two, Three, it's four, okay, this is five here. That's the point that we, uh... All right, so that's... That's the maximum for this, then I need to do one at, uh, at 10. At 10 away from 
this one here. So we got one right there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Our supports for this first one. Let's see, I know I want one all the way down there, so I don't really know what the middle point's going to be. I have to take my way to go middle and hope it's an odd middle point. So let's see here. We got one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay. One, two. This is two, three, four, and five. Go. This is one, two, three. Oh, actually, let's just make it nice and simple here. one is going to be. Oh, shoot, I missed. Sorry, I want my cobble back. We'll leave that for another time. Alright, excellent. Yep, those line up. Those line up too. All right, and let's see how much space do we have in between this? That's got so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's seven there, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, about 19. So then we take 5, 14, which means they're going each from this, from each side 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So there's seven in between. Seven, seven. One, two, so seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, yep, yeah, so uh, let me just double check this one here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the row that we're making this in. Have to be a little more sparing with my cobblestone. Two. So let's see here. I can use four of it up. So that's one, two, three. Goes here. Nope. Nope. I was right. Nine, eight. All right. Just need to. Draw the array back to right here. Oh, crud. One, two, there we go. And all I need to do is just place this last one right here. Oh, look, I think I see iron down there. Yep, that's iron. Sweet. 
sweet. All right, the piers are done. We have our farm done, our animal pens installed. We'll eventually be seeing a result on that. And we have, and we also got all of our blocks upgraded to refractory standards. And we managed to do that all within the span of an hour. So I got everything done that I wanted to accomplish this video in this video. And that makes me feel pretty dang happy about that. So off camera, I'm going to continue to uh, build to uh, work on getting more wood tar so that we can finish up the docks here. Because I do want to have this finished before we move on to our next uh, season. The next chapter in this little play. So I'm going to be, I think next time we'll be dismantling where we're going to be digging up that island while I come back and check on this. I'm still going to need those water breathing potions, so they're going to be of quite the use. And what else would I like to do? So I'd like to do something. Oh, maybe I'll take it. Yeah, I haven't quite fully explored a mine shaft that I found down there. So maybe for a bit of adventuring, we'll take it. I have pumpkins in here. All right, so I'm going to be adding a another... Uh, I think I'll add, well, actually back here we can add in, on the on the flanks we'll add in some, uh, we'll add pumpkins into there. So yeah, there we go. We can, uh, we'll grow pumpkins. We just need to kill some zombies to get carrots and potatoes. And once we have the carrots, we can get the pigs back to here. All, we're doing pretty well and I'm happy with it. But that, of course, will do for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you everybody for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you really enjoyed. Don't forget to share this video or any of my other videos to anybody who you think will enjoy my content. Next time when we return, well, we're probably going to have a bit of a bigger garden behind us. Uh, I'm going to do some more work on the pier. I'm hoping to have the whole thing finished right to the right to the gypsum. And maybe I'll start to cut, a, cut away a bit on that there and make... A ramp up to the uh, up to the higher air, higher areas there. Uh, maybe I might not. We'll see. We'll see. But I will have that and the sidings along and the stuff along the sides all finished off for next time. So, as always, ladies and gentlemen. Until then, take it easy.